What is up, kids? Today, we are nerding out on the Diamond Head by Seymour Duncan. It's a multi-stage distortion plus boost pedal. Sounds really good. What they were going for was uh, they really wanted to capture those uh, 70s uh, British half stack tones where they take the amp and it's already cranking and they just either add a boost or an overdrive to it to just kind of send it over the top. Um, and that uh, carried on into the 80s. The tones just became a little bit more modern, but the concept was the same. So they really wanted to capture those, uh, you know, lower gain uh, British kind of snarly barky tones all the way up to the more modern saturated uh, British tones uh, with this pedal. So let's get right into uh, what the dealio is. Uh, on the bottom, I'll just show you, you have a boost and a distortion switch. So the distortion, obviously that switch turns on the distortion side of the box. There's a boost switch that turns on the boost. Uh, keep in mind though, the boost can be used independently from the distortion. We'll get into that in the demo. Across the top, you've got your bass, mid, and treble. Uh, these uh, potentiometers are center detented, so that's really cool. Uh, you can boost or cut 13 dB. We'll get into how cool that is in the demo. Uh, you do have a boost level. That's on your bottom left. You have your overall output of the pedal, your uh, level control. That's in the center. And then you have a gain control on the right, as well as your saturation switch. So when uh, we turn that on, it'll obviously become much more saturated. It sounds really great. We'll check that out in the, uh, the demo as well. Uh, you can run this uh, at nine or 18 volts. I ran it at nine. I thought it sounded great. Um, and of course you've got your input and output on the top of the box. So without further ado, let's start making some racket with this Seymour Duncan Diamond Head Multi-Stage Distortion Plus Boost. <laughs> Okay, kids, let's check this thing out. Um, where to start, where to start? Well, the first thing I'll do is let you guys hear uh, the amp I'm using. It's my Cerebella. I've got it dialed uh, relatively clean, even with a back humbucker. There's just a little bit of breakup, but it's really clean because we're going to make the diamond head uh, distortion do all the work. Now, I think what I'll do is let me set everything to uh, noon. Now, the cool thing about this is all three of these uh, bass, mid, and treb controls are detented because they are cut and boost 13 dB, which is uh, really cool. That is very active, and I like the fact that there's a center detent there, so when I, you know, that way I know I'm running flat. Uh, I'll leave the gain. Let's put the gain at about noon. I'll leave the level where it is for now. Uh, here's just the amp again. So here's everything basically set at noon. Saturation's off and the boost is off. We'll get to that in a sec. So that tone right there is uh, pretty good. The first thing I would want to do, um, and I guess we'll start with the EQ and then we'll mess with gain. To me, it's a little too boomy now. So I can roll some bass off. Hear how it tightened up? But it still sounds pretty big. Now these are very active. If I turn this all the way off, as opposed to all the way up. Now all the way up, it gets a little crazy. I don't know why you would run it that hot, but uh, just very small moves on all three of these controls make a lot of difference. So once again, I'll back the bass off. Now mid-wise, I wouldn't mind actually hearing a little bit more bark, so let me turn that up a little. That sounds great. Now with the mids, if you turn the mids all the way up, it gets pretty um, like honky 
uh, but it also adds some distortion. So keep that in mind. If you obviously turn them all the way off, 13 dB of mid cut, super scooped. In this case, I'm gonna turn it up just a little, but I'm gonna bring some low end back in now. Okay, so that sounds pretty cool. Now let's uh, look at the treble. I'm gonna add some treble. Now that sounds cool. The treble can get really, really sizzly, especially if you dime it. But you can also cut 13 dB. So you can go really, really dark if you want. I like it about there. Now to me, if I want that to sound a little bit less modern, really what I would do is I'm gonna turn the gain down and the level up a little bit. That kind of reminds me of like the 70s rock tones. You know what, let's turn the gain all the way up and see if this guy stays together. I think it do. <laughs> So that's without even adding saturation. Backs off nice too position. Okay, so we've covered the gain range. It does back off well. The EQ works really great on it. You know, we can go for more scooped kind of modern tones. So, I mean, EQ wise, you can go nuts. Gain, we haven't even turned on the saturation and it works really well. We could turn the gain off. Use the pedal more as a boost. You can hear that there's still some distortion happening, even with the gain off but we could start just using it as a boost. Uh, I think as we turn level, I'll probably have to turn lows down. That's a cool tone. Now, if we turn on the boost and add that to it. Now, what I have noticed with the boost is uh, it does add low end. But that's a great tone with uh, no, um, no uh, gain or distortion added, that's just all push. And of course the boost can be used independently. Which is really cool if you've got an amp that's already broken up and you just want to push it a little bit harder. That uh, is a really nice feature because that could be your rhythm tone and then you could shut it off and have uh, you know, your gain set up higher and have that be your solo tone. So that's a very cool feature. Now, the one thing I don't know, because me don't know, me no build. And I couldn't find it in the manual, uh, is whether this is a pre or post on the pedal. Me no know. But it does sound great. Okay. Uh, let's check out the, uh, yeah, let me turn this down. Let's check out the saturation switch. I'm going to put it, the gain back at noon. I'm going to leave these, uh, EQ set where they are.
way more saturation there. Now, overall, this pedal feels really good as a distortion pedal. It doesn't feel really uh, like silicon or stiff to me at all. Um, and when you turn on the saturation, obviously you get a more saturated tone, but it does create a little bit more uh, squish. <laughs> Okay, so that's what the sat switch does. Definitely more saturated tone. There's a lot more sustain there. Obviously, if you dime the gain, there's gonna be a little bit of noise floor there, but it didn't bother me. Now, the only thing I didn't show you is I'm gonna shut the saturation off and let you guys hear uh, gain with boost. We heard boost without gain and gain without, and the... I'm gonna let you guys hear gain with boost. Now what that adds in that type of capacity or within those parameters, it adds obviously more gain and like a boosted sound, but it does add low end. And it also adds some top end. There's some sizzle there, so maybe back off the treble. That sounds pretty cool. It's all the way up to 15 dB of boost, so if you dime the boost... There's some, I guess, there. it sounds like internal breakup, but I can't tell. Um, but obviously by itself, as you heard, you can really push an amp hard with 15 dB of boost and then uh, adding it to the gain, even if you dime it. It stays together really well. Same time, it kind of has that, uh, you know, amps about to detonate, you know, right before you lose that transformer. And it was sounding so cool, but it was right on the edge of no, no land. Yeah, that's a great sound. So that is the, uh, the Diamond Head multi-stage uh, distortion by Seymour Duncan. As always, I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, hit that subscribe button below. Uh, ring that bell so you don't miss any further uh, videos from me. And uh, we will see you next time.